Hello, welcome again to my devlog. It's already three months after the previous devlog, so let's get started. First, I added some assets to use in the map, and I created a dummy combat model for the needs of prototyping combat features. In the combat feature, the system will automatically lock the enemy in attack range. Attacks will automatically lead to the locked enemy. We can also change the locked enemy using a right click. Like in general, enemies who are hit will also lose their blood. After the battle prototype has been complete, next I make an enemy model which I will then use in making enemy AI prototypes. Of course, the process of making this model lasts until the animation process. But for now, I only animate one model from the three existing models. Enemy movements are controlled based on three areas. The first area has a large coverage area. If the player enters this area, then the enemy will detect its location and start paying attention to the player. The second area has a smaller coverage area, an area where the enemy is ready to attack. If the player has entered this area, the AI will generate a random state where the state of change has a greater chance of being obtained. The third area is a rake that is stretched from the enemy's view. If the player enters this area, the AI will generate a random state between moving away or attacking. I got this idea from trying and watching the gameplay of game similar to the game I'm working on. Of course with some modification and simplification. So far, the performance of the enemy's AI is quite good, considering that the enemy only moves when the player is within their range. But, when I try to spawn enemy, with 30 instance, the game frames drop a course. So, for the enemy AI, the next task is to make the performance even better. I also make a spawn system for enemies so I don't need to put enemies one by one. I just need to put the spawn system scene that I create and then set the parameters that I have prepared. For now, the parameters that exist are the number of enemies to be spawned and the size of the spawn area.
I also make a test map for this devlog to train me on making in-game maps. So far it's been pretty fun. Well, that seems to be all I've been working on for the past 3 months. I want to say that I'm not always able to edit video this long every month. So if anyone wants to get regular updates, you can follow my social media or join my Discord server. Just for info, I have a Patreon pick. I make a 3D game ready character every month or two. What I get from there will help me to develop this game better and more efficiently. Of course, you will also get a reward in the form of 3D game ready character every month or two. Or, if you want to support me in another way, you can buy my objects on my camera pick. I will attach the link in the description. At the end of this video, I say a lot of thanks to those of you who have watched and comment on my previous video. It has become a special spirit for me to continue this project. So friend, see you in the next devlog.